So welcome back to What's It Like to Play in the NFL. This is JJ Burden with sharing my top 10 tips on how you NFL free agent long shots can make the team. And we've already covered one through five. Let's finish up with six through 10. Number six, love special teams. Love special teams. When you love something, you're passionate about it, you're going to do whatever you can to achieve it, right? That's the attitude you have to have about special teams, whether you've done it in the past, because this will be a difference maker when it comes to you making the team. Special team coaches are always grabbing those free agents. They want them on special teams. They want those guys that are flying down the field and making plays because it's all about field position. So you got to have the attitude that they, I want to do this. You're jumping into drills, you're flying down the fields, you're making plays. You got to show that. I, I know because I didn't do that. When, in 1989 when I was with the Cleveland Browns and it came down to that last game, the final cut, they were trying to decide between three receivers which two were going to make the team. So they had all three of us on kickoff coverage, and punt team and I've never done special teams and I didn't want to be out there and it was pretty obvious when you saw the game filled as I'm running down kickoff coverage going against the Detroit Lion and trying to bust up the wedge it was a bad thing plus I just didn't really want to do it I had the wrong attitude you don't want to have that attitude because if I had a better attitude made a better effort I would have made that team for sure so again love special team it's gonna make a difference number seven Learn as much as you can from the veterans. When they say there's no substitute for experience, it definitely applies here. So you gotta find the veteran athlete at your position. Whether they played in the league for years or just been there a couple years, they have an advantage over you. They know some things. So you gotta pick their brains. Be a sponge, watch what they do and learn from them as best as you can. When I got to Cleveland, it was a Reggie, it was a Reggie Og, let's see, Reggie Langhorn, not Reggie Ogden, <laughs> Reggie Langhorn, Webster Slaughter, uh, Brian Brennan, Gerald McNeil, Clarence, Clarence Weathers, Casey, Hill, Stephon Page, those were the veteran receivers, and right away, I started learning from those guys as quickly as I can. And they taught me a lot, and it made a difference in speeding up my growth as far as being on those teams and understanding the system. Number eight, stay in your room, rest and study. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. You guys at training camp, you know what I'm talking about. Stay in your room, rest and study. Number nine, don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. We always read about that guy during training camp that does this and does that. You never want to give a team a reason to cut you. Don't embarrass the organization. Be the guy that's on point and doing what's asking of them. Don't do anything stupid. And then number 10, here's my 10th tip for you on how you can make the team, is you gotta have hope. Hope, you gotta hope everything falls your way because you can have the best camp out there. You can just feel great, play great, make big plays, and still get cut. That's what happened to me. I've talked a lot about Kansas City. No matter how great that camp was, I still got cut. Yes, I did, but they brought me back two weeks later. I got activated, I scored a touchdown, the rest is history. Why did they bring me back? because of everything I did during training camp. All these points I shared with you, I did that. And it made a big difference. So sometimes you just gotta hope things fall your way as you're learning. It's a business. And sometimes it's variables you can't control. So you just gotta get in there and do your job and just hope things fall the way you want. But remember, this is like a job interview. But it's not just for the team that you're on. It's for the other 31 other teams who will be watching you on film as well, especially during the preseason. When I got cut in 89, like I talked about, Cleveland Browns, the very next day I got a call from the Chiefs, the Lions, and the Packers. All wanted to bring me in. Unfortunately, I had a little swelling in my knee, so I couldn't pass the physical. A couple weeks later, though, Cowboys called and I went to the Cowboys. All again because of what I did during training camp. So you got to make sure you do all these things. The eye in the sky doesn't lie. Everybody's watching you. And that 10th reason, you know, you might not be able to control, but just hope things fall your way. So there's my top 10 tips on how an NFL free agent long shot can make the team. Let's review. Number one, 
Check your eagle at the door. Be coachable. Number two, learn all those positions. Number three, no mental errors. Number four, be an overachiever. You've got to stand out. Number five, don't get injured. Number six, love special teams. Number seven, learn as much as you can from the veterans. Number eight, stay in your room and rest. Number nine, don't do anything stupid. And number 10, just hope things go your way because sometimes there's things out of your control. So there you go. I mean, obviously I did say you guys are long shots and maybe other people are, are saying that too, but you know what? It doesn't matter what we say. It really doesn't. What matters is what you believe and your abilities. So all I can just encourage you to do, go out there, do your job, take advantage of the opportunity and make it happen.